Okay, let's download a large language model onto our Android app. Um, and so the reason why this topic is so interesting to me is because I'm going to be going to Uganda later on. And with Uganda, there's not much internet. There's also not much computing resources like computers. And so you kind of have to work with what you have. And so really by using Termux and Olama, it makes it an easy way to download these, these models offline and to use them. So anyway, let's get started with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Termux, which is going to add a terminal, a terminal emulator to our Android application. So I'm going to click on the GitHub version and I'm going to scroll all the way down until I hit a section called releases because we're going to download some things. So I have a release section. I'm going to click on this and then I am going to go to the assets. And in my case, because I'm using a Pixel 7a, I am going to uh, download the 64 bits. So I'm going to click on this and download it. Download again. Yes. Open it up. Yes, I do want to install it. Oh, it's dangerous. OK, let's install it anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to open this up. And voila, you have the terminal on your Android app. And so yes, this is going to allow you to download with Alama, But also, it just makes you look pretty cool as well, too. So that's an extra benefit to it. Anyway, we're going to be doing some reticle protocols where we're just going to update some packages. So PKG, I'm going to say update. Now we have that installed, and the next thing I'm going to do is PKG upgrade. Okay, so while this thing is upgrading, I want to talk about how you can, yes, yes, you can take my space. So uh, you were going to be downloading something called Fruit Distro. And so we're going to be using a different distribution of Linux in order to uh, download on Llama, and I'm going to be using Debian. Um, and what's cool about Fruit Distro is that, you know, depending on uh, the different distribution, if you want to do Ubuntu, you can do that as well. So you can easily switch around. So what I'm going to simply do is I'm just going to start installing it, uh, Brute Distro. And then once that thing completes, then I'm going to be able to start. Uh, yes, you could take my space. Then I'm going to download Desbian. Okay, so now that we're good to go, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download Desbian. So PD install Debian. And so once this finishes downloading, then we can finally do a llama. And so a llama is, is pretty neat. It has all these different types of models that you can play with. But in our case, just for testing purposes, we're going to be going for tiny llama because it's the smallest model out of all of, uh, of the llama ecosystem. Okay, so now that we're inside here, we're just going to simply log in. I'm going to say PD. That's short for Brute Distro. Log in Debian. And we are in the system now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to need to go to the Alama's website and we're going to download Alama. And, you know, you will have to do this on your phone, but because I'm ready on the computer, um, I'm just going to do it on here. So I'm going to go to my downloads. And because this is Linux, I go to the Linux download and I copy this. And now I can go inside here and start downloading it. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to go, just copy this little sucker and we're going to paste it. And then I'm just going to simply click enter. And you see we are downloading this little sucker. And voila, it has been installed. Okay, so in order for this thing to work, we have to run something called a llama serve first. And so what a llama serve does is it's going to basically run via llama server, uh, which then is going to allow us to run our models. And so that means we're going to need to have two terminals open up, one to run the server and one to run the models. And so to make this easier for us, we're going to be basically using something called Tumux. Um, oh yeah, and of course, you know, regular protocol. I'm going to do my, my update as well. So update, apt update. And I'm going to do my apt upgrade as well too. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is now we're gonna be downloading something called um, Tmux. Tmux is going to allow us to do split screens inside our terminal so we can run the server and also the model at the same time. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply type in Tmux and the first thing I remember I said is you have to run that server. So I'm going to say a llama uh, serve. And now you can see we're running the server. And it's going to be running on localhost 127.0.1.11434 on that port. OK, so now that we do that, next what we're going to do is we're going to simply say control. And then I'm going to go plus B 
and plus quotation marks. And you can see that we created a split screen. And now what we can do is we can finally start running some models. So remember the one I said I was going to be using is Tiny Llama down here. And you can see that it's very tiny indeed. So we're going to say a llama run, tiny llama. And what it's going to do is it's going to download the model and then we can immediately start playing with it. Okay. All right. So now we can actually start playing around with this. So what should I type? You know what? Write me a nice letter to my best friend. Right. And so now you can actually start playing with this tiny ML or tiny llama. As you can see that it's typing inside here. Um, just make sure that if you are doing this to turn off any background apps, you want to save as much RAM as possible for your application. But you can see uh, because Tiny Llama is pretty small, it, it types it at a rather quick speed. It's just kind of stuck right now in the moment. But what is this? Yeah, so you can see it's writing a nice letter for me and everything. So yeah, so as you're doing this, right, you can feel free to test Tiny Llama first, and then there's a lot of other models to experiment with. I would say that this is better if you have a RAM of eight, eight gigabytes, uh, but I have seen cases where this has worked with four gigabytes of RAM as well. Well, what is it saying? It sounds like a love letter instead, but okay, anyway. Now, if you wanna exit this thing out, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna to have to simply say Control C. And so now we're out of here. Then you do slash buy, so we're out of this. Then you do exit. And then if you're inside here, all you have to do is the same process of Control C. And then you also exit as well. And you're done, and then you just simply exit out. So yeah, check it out, have some fun with it. And I will talk to you guys later in the next tutorial. Bye.